So you want to know the truth? You really want to know the truth? Well, you can't handle the truth. Sorry, I'm a bit of a 90s kid. Now that you know what an enterprise network is, guess what? You actually already know what the internet is. According to my Google research, the internet is a global computer network providing a variety of information and communication facilities consisting of interconnected network using standardized communication protocols. Isn't it funny how IT languages can leave you scratching your head like a caveman? Like, uh, well, don't sweat it. It gets easier to read with practice. The part of this definition that I want you to focus on is the internet consist of interconnected networks. Think about it. Let's go to our network diagram real quick. The internet is pretty much a whole bunch of home and enterprise networks connected to each other. Name anything you find on the internet. Whatever you can think of is part of a network. Google, for example, has its own network, its own enterprise network. When I open my internet browser and type in google.com, that request goes through my router and then to where? To my internet service provider, aka my ISP. Well, my ISP, Xfinity, has their own servers. They have their own switches and routers to route my request to the Google network. And guess what? Google has its own enterprise network as well. What else? Let's pick a random company on the web. How about um, Walmart.com? Now, I know the agents shouldn't be shopping at work, but hey. We're not judging. Walmart will have an enterprise network as well. So there are multiple networks out there. Yahoo, Amazon, and the list goes on and on and on. And let's not forget about the little networks like my home network. It is also a part of the internet. We contribute to the internet when we do things like upload a video on a YouTube server or write a post on a Facebook server. I hope this revelation is more exciting to you than the season finale of the Game of Thrones. Or not. Or better. I don't know. It's up to you. For now, don't worry about the rest of the mumble jumble and the Google's definition of what the internet is. Those terminologies will make sense as we dig deeper into this video book. So now, I want to take a minute or two to have a quick pep talk. Now, don't you go skipping on your pep talk now. Ha! See? You're going for the X button. Don't do it. I had these pep talks because it's one thing to learn the technical parts of IT, but it's another to understand how to think like an analyst. That's a key component to being successful in your future career. Now, are there other types of servers? Yep. Is there more to routers and switches? Yep. As an analyst, I need you to accept the fact that you'll never learn everything there is to know about IT. There's more to switches and routers, AD. There's more to DNS and storage servers. But look at it like this. In the last set of videos, you've learned a layer of knowledge on those components. What I mean by a layer of knowledge is that you didn't take a deep dive into defining everything there is to know about networks. But we were able to get a high level of understanding and make sense of it all. Because of that, you now have a better understanding of an enterprise network. If you were to continue to study one of those devices we've mentioned, say the router, guess what? You'd absorb a deeper layer on routers. And by the time you know it, You'll learn so many layers that you'll become a router expert. So don't feel overwhelmed. Stay positive. Keep energized and keep learning in layers is the analyst way. So that makes two lessons you need to learn about being a good analyst. One, you need to be proactive and look things up on your own. Remember that? And two, learn in layers. See, that pep talk wasn't so bad, was it? See you next time.